Hey YouTube, what's up? It's me, Mila. Happy Sunday to everyone out there. I know it's been a while, and I truly, truly hope since the last time I talked to you all that you have all been loved and blessed and just leading successful journeys, successful by whichever, however you define success. Um, I know I've been gone, and you know, ever since I reached my one year, I think, search anniversary. Um, my commitment to my commitment to the community has not been the same um life has just changed so dramatically and not that i'm making excuses it's just i know i haven't been here um and really a lot of times it's not because i don't want to it's just that i have so much going on that i really have to stop and think about you know making videos and watching videos and um, a lot of times I'd rather watch a video than make one just to kind of make sure that you guys are all doing well. But with that said, I know that the same way you want, I want to see if you're doing well, you guys also want to check on me and make sure. Um, it's been a little bit since I made a last video. It was last month at some point, and I know it had been a while before that. So um, let me just do a quick little background for those of you that are new with me. I do have new subscribers. I don't know. I mean, I haven't really had much of activity going on, so but somehow, some way, I managed to get new subscribers. So um, for those of you that are new with me, thank you so much for joining along. My name is Mila, and I am a lap band surgery patient. I am 18 months post-op. 16, 16 months post-op. No, I'm wrong again. 17, 17. I think so. I started my journey back um, October 2011 when I joined the gym at my highest recorded weight of 292 pounds. And for um, six months, I worked out on my own and I lost 50 pounds. And on February 3rd, 2012, I was banded at 240.5. I've been on this journey for 17 long months. And the last, um, the last probably, I want to say eight, nine months, I've just been in a complacent type of mode. Um, I've never fully given up, but I just, I've been kind of back and forth. The lowest weight that I've reached um, down to is 174 pounds. And as many of you know, many of you that have been following me, you know that I have been um, yo-yoing with my weight for the last eight, nine months. Um, I lose 10 pounds, I gain 10 pounds. I lose five, I lose nine, I gain 12. And it's been a few days um, since I weighed myself. The last time I weighed myself, I was in the 180s. Um, but... I don't know, that's where I'm at. I, you know, I got tired of making these videos that was me saying that I was going to shit or get off the pot or, you know, whatever. I just, I decided that, um, and it could be a cop out, it could be an excuse to some of you, but it's, it's what I needed to do for me and what I needed to do for my sanity. And basically, for the last few months, I have focused on exercise and I have focused on uh, reaching my Fitbit goals. And I have focused on making sure that a big majority of my meals are lap band appropriate. Um, I struggled back and forth with my fill. Um, but that's where I'm at. I decided that my sanity was much more important than my um, number related goal. I still have my goal. It's still set. But it's just not, it's not worth my sanity. I was just so dedicated to this journey when I first started that um, I couldn't, I had blinders on. I couldn't really see anything else. And so um, I'm in the 180s. That's where I'm at. Um, I'm not sad. I'm not depressed. I'm not anything. I started off at 292 pounds. So, I mean, I guess... I guess to some that might mean that I just gave up, but I think to me giving up is is just completely stopping eating whatever you want, never exercising. I go to the gym four or five days a week. Um, I weigh my food. I I'm just I'm just living. I'm just living, and I couldn't be happier. Um, I came on here to do an update about how I've been. Not even so much about my weight. Um, I know that many of you have reached out to me and I hardly get on my weight loss surgery Facebook and I do have some of you on there 
I did make an update um, a few days ago and so I wanted to come on here and formally make an update that for those of you that have been with me since the beginning for those of you that know my story you know that I went through huge huge heartache and pain which is a big reason why I came and started my journey it's not the reason I continued but it was one of the reasons and a few videos back I told you all that you know life had changed and my priorities had changed because I started dating somebody um, I actually started dating a f somebody that I had known for five years somebody that I had worked with and somebody that I never would have expected to be the person that I was gonna date um, and I introduced you guys to Mike and Mike and I couldn't be more in love if we tried and that may sound so cliche and so corny but it's the truth I never ever knew that love could be this good I never knew what it was like to have a peaceful argument or what it was like to you know just just love somebody the right way I was so used to being loved the wrong way so I want to make an announcement that yours truly is officially engaged that's right Facebook and YouTube family Mike proposed to me two nights ago he surprised me on the pier at the beach um, we did an impromptu trip to the beach to join some of our friends for their one year wedding anniversary and I guess then three were in cahoots and so he proposed he popped a question here it is it is absolutely amazing I'm in love with my ring I'm not sure if you guys can see it right let me see let me see it's so hard to see with these cameras um so yeah so I'm engaged I'm getting married oh my gosh I'm getting married I'm getting married oh my god I don't know when um we kind of have some ideas but this is so so surreal I mean for those of you that have been with me you know how much heartache and pain I've gone through this is just so so surreal so anyway I wanted to share the news with you guys that yours truly is getting married so but for right now I'm enjoying my engagement and maybe that's part of the reason why you know um, weight loss took a back seat you know I was telling my girls the other day I'm still a priority I am but I have a family now you know I have a home to maintain with Mike and with Ethan and with our dog and you know I, I make dinner for for them I can't just eat cottage cheese I can't just you know have a protein shake you know I come from a, a Mexican culture where you do that stuff we take care of our families and not to say that any other culture doesn't but culturally that's what is the norm and that's what is expected and that's how I was raised and that's how I live I make dinner every night I make lunch every you know I pack lunches I I do all that and I'll come back and I'll make another video because I definitely want to talk to you guys about how these changes have affected my life in the positive and some not so positive um, a lot of people talk about how weight loss surgery affects marriages but nobody that I know, I've never seen the video, ever truly talks about what it's like when you go from being single and completely able to focus on your journey to then dating. I was tunnel vision. It was just Ethan and I. I could make Ethan a pizza. I could make Ethan, uh, you know, a quick salad with mine. And, and not to say that Mike doesn't eat that way, but I was just tunnel vision. I worked out and I took care of Ethan. I've been an event coordinator for over 10 years, so I could do that in my sleep. So I never really had to focus on anything but that. I was able to completely 100% dedicate myself to my journey. And Mike completely backs me up and he's my biggest supporter, but priorities have changed and life is happening on life's terms. So. I do want to come back and I do want to talk about talk about all that but for right now I just wanted you guys to know that I'm well I'm loved I'm blessed I'm actually on my way to church right now but we had a couple minutes I'm in a really really good place you guys I'm in a really really good place I'm engaged oh my gosh 
This is so surreal. I was with somebody for many years before, and I never, ever, ever felt the love that I feel now. So anyway, before I ramble and all that stuff, I just wanted to check in, let you know that I'm doing well, I'm happy, and God is good. God is really, really good. And so for those of you that are struggling with your journeys, those of you that are still on your journey, it's so, so worth it. It is, it is, it is. And I promise you that I have not given up. To me, as long as I continue to try and try and try and try, I'm not going to be defined by a number. I'm not. Would I love to be back to 174? Absolutely. But for the sake of my sanity, the sanity of my family, and just for overall well-being, I'm not going to focus on these numbers. I'm going to continue to learn how to eat right, eat properly, and for overall health because after after this comes this. <laughs> so I need to focus on that. And so I want to be healthy for me and for, for Mike and for Ethan and for hopefully future children. So anyway, with that said, I'll leave you guys there. I'm so excited and I'm so, so happy that I got to share this moment with you all. So, and look at that. I am loved. <laughs> all right, guys, you take care. Until next time, take care and God bless. I love you all.